Me eats a salad. Them. Oh, Frank, you're being so healthy with your salad. No, it's because eating just ranch is frowned upon. Mix this with tequila and I got on my new socks. Hey all you cool cats and kittens. I got a new chair. And a skateboard. But I do miss my old chair. At the lowest point, this one doesn't go lower than the old chair. I want my old chair back. I'm sorry. I miss you. I should have just got the exact same thing again. But I wanted this fancy one. Damn it. <gasps> How much silk do spiders have? There was one that came down and then stopped and then went back up and it was so tiny it was like an insane amount of web from the ceiling down how much do they have is it a use it or lose it type thing i don't want to do research i just want to speculate i hate people that ask me how i'm doing how you doing fuck you that's how i'm doing how are you doing um i know we're not allowed to go out to bars right now but when i order a cuervo neat with the lime it means that I want it in a drinking glass, not a fucking shot glass. How hard is this? How hard is this? Neat implies that I'm going to be sipping on it, not shooting it. Cuervo neat lime. How many times have I got that and people bring me salt too? No! I want salt. No thank you. Not unless I'm going to do it out of your belly button. I still don't want salt. Me eats a salad. Them. Oh, Frank, you're being so healthy with your salad. Sure. Or, this is the only acceptable way to eat lots of ranch dressing. Every other podcast ever. The guest says that this thing that people used to do, for this, this thing, all the time, is wrong. You've been doing it wrong your whole life. Here are the logical reason and facts why. <laughs> oh, and by the way, here's this product I designed specifically to... Do this thing for this stuff and the reasons I listed before. The host. Oh my god, you're so right. I totally like never thought of it that way. Why have we been doing it so wrong for so long? The guest. Well, there's a stigma about it. In conclusion, everything we do is wrong, mostly made up by companies using propaganda. Here's a uh, fun facts. Between 1977 and 1987, Kemper had spent over 5,000 hours in a recording booth and made more than 4 million feet of tape. No one cares. Kemper? Is it Ed Kemper? He was a serial killer. He recorded audiobooks. I looked for that copy on Audible. How fun would that be, though? That's American. I mean, it sounds good in theory. This to this book about a serial killer, and the author's a serial killer? What? Fucking A, yo. You know what should definitely be illegal? Fucking robot calls. Why is this allowed? Robots should not be able to, to pick up the telephone and make a call and leave a goddamn message. That shouldn't be allowed. Ever. I understand if I physically call a place and they have a robot answering machine. But robots should not be allowed to call me. Dude, I was watch I've always loved Angel and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Those were like the first superhero type TV shows. Like they were vampire slayers. But, like, mostly they were a superhero show. They were, like, the first. First edgy one. More like the first edgy one. Kind of drama-y, grippy type. Everyone dressed very 90s. And Jeremy Reiner. Reiner? Was in an episode. I was like, what? Hawkeye, is that you? He was in an episode of Angel. Just doing whatever he did. He played a serial killer, too, in one movie. Was it? I know what it is. Bun? No, it wasn't Ted Bundy. That what? Did you see that movie about Ted Bundy? But it was just the like courtroom case. Ooh, that was the part you wanted. Thought that's not the part I wanted to see. I understand the tale was gripping what actually happened, but eh, weak. 
What did Hawkeye, what serial killer did Hawkeye play? Dahmer, Jeffrey Dahmer, that's the one. Boom. All right, so this other thing that was really bothering me, fucking DeviantArt. God damn it. I started my DeviantArt in 2012. And can you imagine I was afraid to post things on the internet before? <laughs> Hilarious! But uh, they keep changing the shit. DeviantArt's like, we gotta stay hip and cool. No one's using us. It's dying. And then they redesign their symbol. It's a stupid fucking symbol. And then they're trying to redesign the layout. No one likes it. No one cares. They tried to make a mobile version. No one is using it. I feel like just going to have to face the fact that it's they're not going to be able to bring it back. Anyways, they def they've made this new layout. And I hate it. Because I hate change. Just like this chair. This is a $200 chair. And I'm short, so I need it to be lower, but it won't. And now I'm using my $100 skateboard as my footrest. So, that all worked out. In my DeviantArt, there is a featured section... And then in, all, in the gallery, where my art is, there's a featured section and an all section. The featured says there are 558 deviations. That's what they call the art in DeviantArt, now that you're up to speed. And all, the all section, right, you can make it so you can put your best stuff in the feature. So the feature comes up and they're like, wow, look at this. And then you can go to the all and it's got the same thing plus all the other crap that you have. But in the all section, it says... 567 that's a difference of nine and i can't figure it out so in the beginning i have added everything to both sections but at some point it seems that i left out nine and i can't figure out which goddamn nine it is i think it's a glitch because i've scrolled through it's hard to scroll through 558 things and compare it to 567 things which one's missing? I think it's lying to me. I've tried to scroll through it twice. It took forever. And I just forget. It's just that little detail that bothers me. Mm. I thought I had it all. Hmm. Wow. Alright. Sure. Or this is really the only expect. Sure, only in conclusion, everything we do is wrong and mostly made up by companies using propaganda.